the Roycroft ski shoes. Must say, they held up pretty well. It's got a few little tweaks to do. These ones aren't completely slippery. They have a couple ice picks. places like this they'll slide anyway so let's hope I don't fall off Take a closer look at my tracks. Glove back there, so I had to go back and get it. Take a look at the tracks. Me, pretty neat. Just gonna loop around on that hill. The foothills there. Test around on the hill or two. Pretty deep down there. Moose. journey don't have proper bindings About to go downhill now. I'm almost skiing. If I had those ice picks out of there, get those knots out, it's a lot easier. Wow. If I had ski poles too, I'd keep my balance a lot more, propel myself more. But, pretty good as it is. You don't want too much slipperiness because you wouldn't be able to get up hills problem. Pivoting, no problem. Whoa! <laughs> 
<laughs> not used to this. Magnificent birch trees. Yeah, a bit more balance and propulsion. If I cut myself a couple ski poles. Croft ski shoes. Must say they held up fairly well. Need to put more bend in the tip. Also better bindings and a better lashing down here. Then we got ourselves a nice pair that will last. These will last a nice while too. You know, get the snow out, just bang them together, and you're good to go again. Get a video, man. Hey? No yeah. I know that's easy to happen. Lots of deep snow. There's a big tree. Big tree. Birch. Or the black spruce. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice.